Who would have thought that electric cars could ever materialize? But now we have millions of battery-powered cars on our roads as a lot of people are getting over their range anxiety thanks to Tesla and other EV makers. Well, that's not even all of it. What we know in the vehicle arena as the norm is about to take a new turn. Other than cars and trucks, the world is about to experience the arrival of other battery-powered vehicles, and this includes boats, planes, four-wheelers, and more. It indeed looks far-fetched, but did you know some companies are already producing these vehicles? Welcome back to AutoTech, and today, we're discussing various battery-powered vehicles looming on the horizon. A few years ago, the idea of electric-powered watercraft was restricted mostly to cool-looking sketches. The concept didn't carry much credibility in the boating world, since water's high drag caused batteries to deplete quickly in severely limited range. And who wants to be stuck offshore with dead batteries? Technology may have finally caught up to the concept, with more than two dozen builders having recently launched new EV runabouts. Range remains the restricting factor, but this inshore craft now makes sense to four-wheeled EV owners who understand the charging of electric motors. The Xshore Elex 8000 Due to its 225-kilowatt Bruce electric motor, the instant thrust of the Swedish-built 26-footer was an absolute thrill when running the boat on the intercoastal waterway off Palm Beach. And the highly respectable 34.9-mile-an-hour top end competes with many traditionally powered vessels in the same class. The hull was made of recycled plastic and flax fiber, which is an upgrade from the standard fiberglass carbon fiber weave, and instead of tweak soles, Xshore used cork, which provides uncompromising grip while being more ecologically sustainable. Twin 60-kilowatt lithium-ion Cressy batteries can be restored in under two and a half hours with a supercharger. Even blazing down the ICW, the 8000, priced from $329,000, sounds more like a sailboat than a runabout. The Navier 27 Foiler The Navier 27, which is being built in the Lyman Morse shipyard in Maine, promises to be a groundbreaker when it launches next fall. The electric boat is built on three retractable hydrofoil, one at the bow and two at the stern, that provide speed, range, and efficiency. Navier founders Sampriti Bhattacharya and Rio Baird, two MIT-educated engineers, who both have backgrounds in aerospace, decided to put their knowledge to work with the 27. They've assembled a team of experts in hydrofoil design, software engineering, and hull design to create what they think is a sustainable dayboat, which also has an overnight cabin that will appeal to most boater profiles. The Navier 27 will have a top speed of 30 knots, and at 20 knots it will have a 70-mile range. The futuristic boat retails for $300,000. The future of air travel is battery-powered. As convenient as flying may be, air travel is not particularly great for the environment. By some estimates, commercial flights alone are responsible for 3-4% to of all greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. One of the ways to improve the environment is by electrifying air travel. Even though the dream of having planes with batteries instead of fuel is still down the road, battery-powered planes are beginning to gain more traction. Recently, Air Canada became the latest airline to commit to trying the new zero-emission technology by ordering 30 battery-powered passenger aircraft from the Swedish-based Hart Aerospace, United Airlines, and regional provider Mesa Airlines each ordered 100 of the company's planes in the summer of last year. Amid increasing pressure, the travel industry has set enterprising goals to help curtail its environmental footprint. At the moment, only a few planes are being developed, the electric planes are small, with room for just about 30 passengers, and they can't travel far. For instance, Hart Aerospace's plane is powered by more than 5 tons of onboard lithium-ion batteries, and it can fly 124 miles on one charge. But with help from fuel power generator, it can expand its range to nearly 500 miles. However, even that so-called hybrid mode would still produce 50% fewer emissions than standard planes. It's also believed that these electric aircraft would also be much quieter. The Swedish company, Hart Aerospace, says its planes could be ready as early as 2028, but the vehicles will need to pass a plethora of regulatory hurdles before they can take flight. Airlines and the travel industry as a whole have come under heavy criticism for their environmental impact, and they're responding with ambitious targets and plans. United, for example, has pledged to reduce emissions by 100% by 2050 through a combination of cleaner fuel and carbon offsets, while countries like Denmark and Sweden have set goals to stop using fossil fuels for domestic flights by the end of this decade. Cruise lines have also vowed to take action on climate, with companies like Hertengruten Norway pledging to launch the first zero-emissions passenger ship by 2030. Trains, too, are becoming greener, 
the German state of Lower Saxony recently rolled out its first fleet of passenger trains that run entirely on hydrogen. Battery-powered planes are just one of the many innovations in development to make air travel greener. However, without major advancements in battery technology, building electric planes that can hold hundreds of passengers and travel thousands of miles will be a big technological challenge. In the meantime, airlines are also turning to more tolerable fuels, carbon offsets, and other innovations to reduce their impacts now and into the future, when air travel demand and emissions are both projected to increase. Technology for large aircraft like a Boeing 777 could indeed be decades away. But if all goes according to plan, within time, the smell of jet fuel at the airport will begin to dissipate as airliners begin to adopt battery-powered planes. The plane called Alice. Original designs for this plane had a more drone-like look as they included propellers in non-traditional places. Those plans have been modified and the plane is now closer to a normal-looking aircraft. Jabbar Yohei, the founder of aviation company where Alice is being made, it is important that this aircraft look and perform like any other aircraft, minus the jet fuel, so it will be easy for pilots to fly and passengers will be comfortable riding on it. The plane's name is Alice. Like other battery or hydrogen-powered airliners being developed, it would be used for a relatively short flight with under a dozen passengers, but as battery technology advances, Bar Yohei is hoping that the scale of the aircraft will grow. The wings and main cabin of Alice are built and ready. The wings are long like those on a glider to get top performance at higher altitudes and the passenger windows are large and not quite round. The cockpit is outfitted with all of the screens one would see in any other aircraft. As planned, the plane could be flown by a single pilot, but there will be two seats up front for pilots just like in a traditional airliner. Aviation says operating Alice will cost far less than what airlines are paying today for jet fuel power aircraft. Moreover, the beautiful part about this plane, besides it being an awesome plane and looking great, is that it makes economic sense today. They said that the plane will be able to fly about 440 miles. While not a long-distance plane, 440 miles fits the need of many regional airlines around the world. Charging the plane will be similar to charging a Tesla. While passengers are boarding, the plane will be plugged in and able to do most of a flight off just a 30-minute charge. Batteries will soon dominate the space of vehicles and take the crown from traditional fuels. Do you think engineers will eventually design electric boats and planes to be larger and more efficient? Or do you think it's a pipe dream to have battery-powered vehicles? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. Also, make sure to turn that notification bell on to be the first to see our latest videos. Until next time, thanks for watching Autotech.